So unlike some other coaches out in the market, this is a completely customizable coach. It's absolutely one of the best built coaches on the market from any manufacturer. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. I'm here with Bob from Show Hauler, and we're gonna show you a full exterior and interior walkthrough of our favorite Super C hands down. So you may or may not know, we actually went to the show hall or factory about a year and a half ago, and Bob spent two hours with us doing a full factory tour, detail, explanation, and we had no audio. But we're back at the Tampa show, and Bob has been kind enough to take a little bit more time, and he's gonna give a quick walk around outside interior and just talk about why show hauler builds such a quality coach. So we start off with the nicer chassis of the Super C series. This is a Freightliner Cascadia, 600 horsepower, has a DD16, DT12 transmission, so it's an automated 12 speed, 1,850 foot pounds of torque, plenty of power to get you up and down the hills, tow your stacker trailer for all your toys, anything like that, and just have a nice, comfortable, luxury ride in a uh, 45 foot coach. So unlike some other coaches out in the market, this is a completely customizable coach. Correct. As long as the as long as we can meet the RVIA standards and be able to physically fit everything in, we try to customize as much as possible to meet the customer's needs. Now, when we were out at the factory, what we were impressed about was was number one, like the pace of work. Everybody had a job and they were doing it and it looked like they were very they knew what they were doing. It was detail. Can you talk a little bit about the construction of this coach and how long does it take for this coach to actually be built? Our construction time is a lot different than the other manufacturers. We are not set up as a shop where we're just trying to slam as many out as we can. We build an average of 35 to 40 coaches a year. It's an all steel construction with the exception of the slide outs, which are done out of aluminum. So anywhere that we have a larger opening, like a slide out, a window, door opening, things like that, we have a one by three steel tube. And then we have uh, a structure called a hat post that's 16 inch on center in between those. Our floors are built out of two by three steel tube. And then a one and seven eighths inch laminated floor gets bolted down to that. And our roof is a uh, inch by inch and a half steel tube on 16 inch centers and then we've got a uh, 7 16 inch board on top of that with a complete walk-on roof, one piece roof on top of that for sealing everything up. Now what also is really special on here is that your sidewalls are not fiberglass. Correct. We use an 063 thickness aluminum skin and that is held on by a 3M VHB tape. We've had great success with that over the years. We've been building these coaches for 21 years and build them the same way ever since the beginning. And that VHB tape is built specifically for our application so that it holds those sheets in place and allows the coach to breathe and expand and contract with the temperatures. Also the advantage is like, for, <laughs> say for there's some reason there's a damage to the sidewall, you can easily remove that panel. It's much less work. Correct. Would that be accurate? Yes. Instead of like with a traditional RV having to uh, replace a whole sidewall or anything like that, this you can remove the individual panels. This coach happens to be all white. If it's a painted coach, you remove those individual panels and then repaint to match. So it's an easy repair. Structurally underneath, it is the strongest coach in the industry. So we feel very strongly about how these coaches perform and, and uh, we've had great success with them. So here we have our outside compartments. This coach happens to have the side swing baggage doors. We build coaches with both vertical swing and side swing, depending on the customer's preference and application. This one has the pull-out cooler on a tray. Uh, it also has the 43 inch outside TV with sound bar. And then we also have our slide outs. This particular coach has three slide outs. We use the Liftco, Liftco brand slide outs because they're very dependable. It's an electric motor driving two worm gears, one on each end. And we just have very, very little trouble with them. We've been using them since day one. They're the go-to slide out because we don't have failures with them. So inside of our compartments, we finish them out with a spray-in bed liner, standard feature, whether it's a vertical swing baggage door or a side swing. Uh, so you can see it's nice and durable. All of the compartments, with the exception of the battery compartments, will have an LED light inside. That is controlled by a switch just inside of the doorway. Behind the axles on some of these, we can do a pass-through. Again, it kind of depends on the layout of the coach and the options that are on the coach to make sure that there's enough space to do that. So on the rear, uh, you can see we have a heavy-duty ladder. That's a ladder that we build in-house and then have powder-coated. can be much much stronger than your traditional RV ladders. We can also see our hitch here. This one happens to have the small hitch receiver in it for towing a car, but that hitch is rated for 40,000 pounds. With a two and five sixteenths ball, you can tow up to 30,000 pounds and 6,000 pounds of tongue weight. We use a pinnel hitch in there. Customers can tow up to 40,000 pounds with 6,000 pounds of tongue weight. Then we also have our buddy plug back here uh, for being able to connect your trailer, or if you have a neighbor that doesn't have 
power or anything like that, they can plug into you there. And a seven way plug for a trailer uh, for the lights, brakes, things like that. So we try to keep things pretty simple at Show Hauler. So you'll see here we've got our holding tank station. We've also got our water fill. We've got an outside water pump switch to be able to wash your hands and everything off. There's a quick connect there for a hose to be able to wash off the hose or your hands. You've got your three valves, one for the city water, two for fresh water. We have two 75 gallon water tanks underneath the bed on this coach. So this coach is set up with 144 gray and 144 black holding tank capacities. So here we have our inverter compartment. It also has any of the fuses and breakers for the external items like awnings, steps, things like that. This has a 3000 watt magnum inverter in it. This coach also has lithium batteries in it. So it has four 100 amp hour lithium batteries with built in heating elements. So this coach will do very well with boondocking and everything. So inside, uh, this particular one has a 43 inch QLED TV. Here you can see the cab of the Freightliner Cascadia. This one happens to still have the analog gauges. The trucks that we have coming up in production have an all digital dash. So that dash will look a little bit different on the upcoming coaches. But we have padded vinyl material top and bottom as well as on the ceiling. And that helps to quiet down the interior noise. You don't get any echo or hollow hallway sound inside of the coach. This particular one has granite countertops, tile backsplash. All the motor home series coaches that we do have a full surround theater surround sound system, Blu-ray player, ceramic tile floor. So this is pretty dark inside and I know like a lot of people like the light color. So completely customizable. Can people choose whatever colors they want? So we have five different color stains on oak or maple cabinets. So we can go anything from natural to caramel, Kona, this happens to be the charcoal, um, and then we also have a cherry stain. The racing industry tends to like the darker interiors. Mm -hmm. Obviously the RV industry tends to like the lighter interiors, so we offer some flexibility there. Different wall colors, different ceiling colors, different floor colors, a lot of flexibility with tile, countertops, things like that. Uh, we offer Corian, granite, quartz, and then any of the colors that are available in those particular uh, materials. So a lot of flexibility there. Uh, Villa furniture um, and everything that Villa offers under the ultra leather, ultra leather line um, on their standard uh, colors is available there. So a lot of flexibility. So we have some nice features like this particular one has some cabinetry with a pull out pantry. Uh, so as you can see everything is dovetailed on the drawers. All the cabinetry is solid hardwood and uh, they're on soft close guides and we have positive catches on all the cabinet doors so that nothing's going to come open on, on you while you're going down the road. This particular coach has no LP, it's all electric so it's got residential appliances. This one has a 19 cubic foot refrigerator, plenty of pantry space. This one has some adjustable shelves and everything in it here and then we have another pantry here, plenty of shelves. Now does this right here does this person does this come with the coach he is free with the coach we send him out okay um sean is actually one of our dealership he's based out of uh just outside of columbus ohio in thornville sean has been with us um since almost the beginning of uh show hauler and has done a very good job for us and he's a lot of fun as we're finding out <laughs> so this is a beautiful dinette too yep we have a granite table here at this dinette this particular one does not fold down to a bed if we did a corian table here then we could make this fold down so we would have sleeping of the bunk beds the king size bed the dinette the fold out sofa for a queen size bed there and then the bunk over the cab on this particular coach then here this coach has a stackable washer dryer so it's got all the amenities and things like that we also have people often ask about dishwashers we do have dishwashers available as an option obviously this one is bunk beds we are completely custom. A lot of the coaches we sell have the bunk beds in them, but if somebody does not want bunk beds, we have literally probably 300 floor plans of coaches this size, and then we can customize from there. So this is a bath and a half coach. So we have our half bath here, obviously granite countertops. This one happens to have a vessel sink, macerator toilet, and then this area contains all of our uh, multiplex system, breakers, fuses, and everything for the power on the coach. Then we also have a king bed here on a slide out. This particular one has the ortho rest mattress with the gel top uh, notched out for the slide motor. So this is a true 72 by 80 king bed. And then we have a 43 inch QLED TV here in the bedroom. Plenty of hanging space, closets, things like that. And then we have plenty of storage down below as well. Uh, these really are, <clears throat> you have to give it a little... They're, okay, they're solid. Secure. Then back here we have a tiled shower the tiled shower we have the vessel sink another macerator toilet and plenty of storage inside of this coach in the restroom well thank you for that detailed tour and everybody's going to want to know if 
you want to, or somebody wants to order a unit, how much time should they allot? How long is this gonna take? Currently, the lead time is 16 to 18 months, depending on the availability, chassis, things like that. Normally, we're 10 to 12 months, but with the way the industry is right now, it's a little more hectic. The actual build time on the coaches, it takes us about six months once we are starting in production until the completion of the coach. And then if it's gonna have a custom paint job, that'll add about another four to five weeks to that time frame. I would say to look for one used, but you can't find these used. Like they're very hard to find used show haulers. They are very difficult to find used. And we often hear of customers looking at used coaches yeah. and they will look at one on the internet, find it, make a phone call, inquire again the next day or the day after, and the coach is already yeah, sold. Yeah, it's absolutely one of the best built coaches on the market from any manufacturer. Now, if somebody's interested in buying one of these, who should they contact and what should be their budget? So we do sell everything through our dealer network. Um, so I would refer you out to one of our dealers in the adjoining area. And then that guy back there. You can buy from Sean. He's out of Ohio, or we have uh, nine other dealers throughout the country. Pricing wise, we're going to start bottom line point is going to be about four hundred thousand, and then upwards of anywhere from six hundred, six hundred and fifty, depending on how the options are on the coach and everything. Awesome. Um, again, they're kind of all a cart, so. You can go anywhere in between with the amount of options that you want to do. Well, thank you for taking the time. In the comments below, let us know what do you think about Show Hauler compared to other Super Seas? Is this the first time you've heard of Show Hauler? Uh, let us know in the comments below. And for myself, MJ, and Bob, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road.